Ladies and gentlemen, we are live here at Let's Play Saturday Night here on Game Palooza, and we are in the Game Palooza Empire helicopter. And up here in the chopper, we're seeing something down below. It looks like a Sega Genesis. Let's see if we can get a close look at that. A 16-bit Sega Genesis first model with a 32X attachment. And what is that over there? We have Knuckles Chaotix. And let's see if we can land someplace near the Sega Genesis so we can do a Let's Play Saturday Night. So we have landed the Gaming Palooza Chopper down next to the Sega Genesis. And now we are actually playing Knuckles Chaotix. Now supposedly this game was released in 1995. And it was developed by Sonic Team. Because, you know, assumingly this is a Sonic game. Except it doesn't have Sonic the Hedgehog in it. Which is a very, very unique thing. Uh, this is probably one of the first... And one of the few Sonic games that did not have Sonic in it. Now strangely enough, this is for the Sega 32X. And uh, based on my knowledge, if I can remember correctly, I don't think there is any Sonic game on the 32X. So this is the only thing on the 32X that actually resembles a Sonic game. And essentially, it is a Sonic game. Now, what makes this game so unique? Well, uh, besides it not having Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, this is actually the game, this is actually the game that formed the group known as Chaotix. Now, you, be, you may be wondering what Chaotix is. Well, Chaotix, let me tell you, the Chaotix is like the video game version of the Avengers, or perhaps the video game version of the NWO from wrestling. Or maybe Degeneration X, maybe the Four Horsemen, you know, so on and so on. It could be any one of those. This is a major video game stable that consists of five members. And that would be Knuckles, Mighty, Vector, Espio, and Charmy. Now, a little known fact about Mighty, the second member of Chaotix. Is that Mighty actually was a character that was featured in that Sega Sonic arcade game that was released in Japan, but for some reason it wasn't released in the United States. Now another unique feature about this game is instead of playing one character, you play two characters at once. Now you may ask yourself, oh yeah, Sonic 2 had I uh, had a uh, Sonic the Hedgehog and uh, Tails, and you know there's quite a few Sonic games that feature both of them together. But you, know, you don't even understand that this game, literally, you have to play as two characters. It's re it's a requirement to use two characters at once. You have to actually use strategy in order to get to the end of the level. Now you may ask yourself, how the hell is this possible? Uh, both characters are attached to each other with some type of an elastic ring power that, you know, each character has a ring and there's like some type of a power in between those rings that is pretty much, it works like it's some type of an elastic band. So basically what you do in this game, you can pull each other through the level and you have to slingshot each other through the level. Uh, occasionally there's these little buttons that are on the ground and you know one button Knuckles has to stand on the second button the other character has to stand on you have to actually get each character to stand on each button in order to open a door which is very very unique now rumor has it this is what I read that even though this game was released on the 32x 
This game was originally supposed to be, supposed to be released on the Sega Genesis by itself. Uh, there was actually a prototype of this game known as Sonic Crackers. And I, I honestly never played this Sonic Crackers before, but there's actually a ROM that leaked out that you can actually play Sonic Crackers. And it's also known as Sonic Stadium, I believe, or Sonic Arena, something like that. Uh, either one of those supposedly is a prototype of Knuckles Chaotic, the Sega Genesis version. Now, uh, in my opinion, I think it was better off on 32X. As you can see right here, uh, Knuckles right here is actually like at least twice as large as his normal, normal character. Uh, that's the power of the 32X right there. That's pretty cool that you can actually uh, you, s you can platform in this game and your characters can actually blow up into a larger character like that. That's something that is very, very unique and very, very cool. And also what's very cool is when you spin and the character jumps off the platform towards you and becomes very, very large. That's also a pretty cool, unique feature. And as you can see here, I'm trying to step on both of these buttons using each character. And I just uh, accomplished that right there. That was not easy, as you can see. Uh, this is the first level. Uh, once you figure out what the buttons do, you can breeze through the first level real easily, like I just did. Now, once you beat the first level, you basically move on to the second level. Uh, there's basically no screen in, in between the levels that tell you that you win any, anything at all. You just basically go from one level to the next level. And the only way to indicate that you're in the next level is, of course, once you reach the end of the level, uh, the only transition is there's a black screen. And of course, the you know the next level uh, obviously looks a lot different than the previous level. Like this level features grass. The previous level looked uh, significantly different. And as you can see here, I'm trying to stand on these buttons to open the door. Now in this game, like I said, you have to use strategy in order to get to the end of the level. Each level becomes more trickier and trickier as you know, time goes by. As you advance onto each level here, and, you know, you have to slingshot, you have to open up doors. It's a unique thing about this game is uh, half the time you're not going to uh, find any enemies or anything like that. This is all about, like I said, strategy. You just have to get to the end of the level and you have to slingshot yourself to the end of the level, pull yourself to the end of the level. Use brain power. So this is a very, very different Sonic game right here. And it's very unique, to say the least. I'm wondering why I didn't make a second version of this game. Maybe because the game didn't sell that well. Uh, the reason why it didn't sell that well was because it was on 32X. And I'm not bashing the 32X or anything, because I actually like the 32X. But, uh, you know, let's face it, the 32X was not really a successful console, or an attachment, I should say. Uh, it was basically... Uh, it was a life support for the Sega Genesis. Uh, in my opinion, I think that these games should have been released only on the Sega Saturn. And I don't think the 32X should have ever even existed. I think that Sega should have been focused on just one console at a time. But, you know, Sega, for some reason, they focused on a lot of different stuff at the same time. And, you know, just uh, a consumer like me and you, we can't invest our money into all that stuff, so... Certain people bought the 32X. You have someone else bought the Sega CD. And then, you know, we had a person over here that was saving their money for the Sega Saturn. And that's basically why uh, there's poor sales on these consoles and these add-ons, you know. But when it comes to this game right here, 
this is actually a very very good game for the 32X and if you do have a 32X or if you plan on getting a 32X I definitely recommend that you uh, try to find this game now where exactly can you find this game uh, the first source is obvious eBay uh, in my opinion, if you can find the game someplace else, I would check someplace else. You might be able to get it cheaper on shopgoodwill.com if you do find it on that website. Or if you uh, know of any other auction sites. Or maybe if you go, go shopping at a Goodwill store, you might be lucky to find one in there. But, you know, you have to be really, really lucky to find one in an actual Goodwill store. I personally think the graphics look very, very nice in this game. It's a very, very nice platformer. Uh, the game itself, like I said, is, is very, very unique. That's the only thing I can say about this game right off the bat, is that it's a very, very unique Sonic game that does not feature Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, I know a lot of you guys use emulators. Uh, if you ever get a chance to play, even if it's with an emulator, I don't technically recommend playing with an emulator, but you know, if you don't have the money to buy the, the, the attachment and everything, if that's the only way you can play it, I'll go ahead and play it and, and enjoy it, you know? This is definitely a rare gem for the Sonic series right here. And I personally definitely love this game. Which is the reason why I actually own it. I bought it. I bought my 32X with a bunch of games. Uh, specifically so that I don't have to continue buying games. Now on our next episode of Let's Play Saturday Night, we're going to be checking out some more 32X games. So if you guys have an interest for 32X games, uh, stay tuned for next week because we're going to be checking out some of those 3D 32X games that actually pushed 32X to its limits. And I hope you guys enjoyed Knuckles Chaotix. And like I said, if you ever get a chance to play it, please do.